The grey handicap is the final race of the day. I'm afraid this is another handicap which is packed full of group race horses. Horses with group form, group two, group three, then group one as a horse was placed in a group one handicap as a winner of the Craven Stakes and there's all sorts in it. Anyway, Meridian Master Vinnie Gerard, Agent Tootsie for Craig Anna, Anna Yarnes, Darren Thompson, Anaheim Brush, Vinnie Gerard, Sabusa Burma and Hufflepuff Flow for David Robertson, The Big Steel, Leon Van Rensburg, Ozzy the Outlaw, Kevin Meenhan, Starman, Joshua Sutherland, Barwad, Rocket, Stu Gray, Rembrandt, Paul Rhodes, Sparrowhawk, Padraig Hogan, Walk This Way, Paul Rhodes, El Rama, Darren Thompson, Dusty Trail, Daniel French, Sisters Obi-Wan, Eurovision, Daniel French, Byzantium, Burley and Bonica, Balfour, Thomas Rogers, Escape, Zenina and Osmosis, Alex Cherry and Spoof, Brigadier for Matt Cooper, they're all installed and ready to go, and away they go. And who's going to be the first to show? It looks like Sisters for Obi Wan. It also looks like Dusty Trail is going to make things confusing and come right over onto this near side rail and race by himself. But it's Sisters who's in the lead from El Rama and Rembrandt and walk this way. And Agent Tootsie. Dusty trail down on this near side. Osmosis is the back marker at this stage, I think. And it's Sister Zoo's clear with five furlongs to go. Clear by about four lengths, and then there's five of them sharing second spread right across the track. Rembrandt, Agent Tootsie, walk this way, and Dusty trail. And then after that one comes Ozzy the Outlaw. El Rama's close up as well. Sabusa Burma is trying to get into it. So to his Huffle Puff Flow. And they've got to get to this Sisters, and Sisters is well clear at the moment. One of the bottom weights, and in the lead with three furlongs to go, but about to be attacked and swamped by everybody else with Walk This Way and the Big Steel uh, coming through around the far side. Hufflepuff Flow, Ozzy the Outlaw, and a yarn is he's after that one. Then comes Sabusa Burma, Dusty Trail. After that, down this near side by himself, but Walk This Way is just about in front. Now the Big Steel and Ozzy Outlaw comes through as well, and it's the Sisters who's getting back into the lead again. Now being pressed by El Rama, El Rama and Sisters Walk This Way and flying down this near side is Barwad Rocket, and Barwad Rocket has flown through and he's going to take it, Barwad Rocket wins it for Stu Gray in second is Eurovision who came from the back as well El Rama is next and then Rembrandt so Barwad Rocket takes it for Stu Gray he'll be happy because he was only telling me the other day that it's just about impossible to win a handicap on the flat these days and he's taken a 0-110 yeah, with a horse rated 82. So, maybe all that stuff I was spouting at the beginning is absolute nonsense because the three horses rated 45 have finished at the back. So, whoever you are, Mr. Handicapper, I don't know who you are. I'm not having a pop at you. I'm just saying that maybe things are a little bit uneven this season and one or two horses, we need one or two more horses rated above 110 than we've got at the minute. Barwad Rocket for Stu Gray wins it. Eurovision Daniel French second. El Rama for Daniel Darren Thompson third. Byzantium Burley Thomas Rogers fourth. Aussie the Outlaw Kevin Meenahan fifth. Well, I guess I'll be back tomorrow to commentate on day three as I'm the only one that's prepared to do it. Unless I get sacked for my comments today. Or oh, I might go on strike like everybody else. <laughs> See you all tomorrow.